Processes that treat contaminated water and make it safe for drinking, industry or using medicine are very important to our day-to-day -day life. Examples of contaminants are organic compounds, salts, metals or any kind of chemical pollutants, such as the pink dye in this water. The conventional technology used to separate water from its contaminants is distillation. In this case, water is evaporated to the boiling temperature and the vapor is condensed back, free of its contaminants. An alternative method is filtration by using membranes. The membrane is like a colander and has pores that allow the passage of water while retaining the bigger dissolved contaminants, like this. Our membranes have much smaller pores and are therefore capable of retaining much smaller molecules. Membrane filtration requires almost 100 times less energy than distillation. This means that much less energy and therefore much less money are needed to purify the same amount of water. To compare the two technologies, we have two volunteers that will create energy for us by cycling on a generator bike. Pierce is old-fashioned, he does not believe the membrane can do the job and therefore he will cycle for distillation. On the other hand, Maria strongly believes in the power of membrane technology and she will cycle for the membrane filtration. As you can see, Pierce is producing energy to heat up dirty water to the boiling point, evaporate it and condense it back. He is working really hard, but after 10 minutes, he has collected only a few little drops. On the other hand, Maria is producing energy to create a pressure difference across the membrane. She is taking it so easy, and after 10 minutes, she has collected already a cup of clean water. Now, we want to challenge you to come and try our bikes. Come to Imperial Festival and show us how much water you can purify.